Well, there's certain teaching and designing roles that a number a number of compositionists and writing people play, um, which are quite similar. If you're running a writing program of any kind or running a program of any kind, you have a similar sort of producer role, even if you don't um, understand yourself in that way. That is, there's multiple courses, there's multiple teachers, there should be. I would think some coherence across the experience of your program for students. There's certain kinds of intellectual and practical conversations that have to take place in order for programs to exist and to run, run effectively. And so in that respect, our engagement with the MOOC wasn't really all that different from some other things that we had done. In other respects, it was a completely different experience in that we had you know, our MOOC, our writing MOOC was not nearly as large by any, by, I wasn't even close to being as large as the Coursera sponsored MOOCs that um, some of our colleagues ran. They had a, they had a bullhorn and we had a, I don't know, a kazoo. <laughs> and so we didn't have the scale, but we still had a class with a couple of thousand students in it for a little while. And that was, for a little while, we panicked in terms of what that experience felt like for us as teachers and what our, what our different teacher roles were. So there were some things about engaging with learners at scale. The online stuff wasn't that big of a deal. We've done that before, but the scale part um, created some, some interesting new kinds of experiences for us as teachers.